Hello everybody from the Nothing Fancy Grow Room. I'm gonna pop in. I was just getting ready to mix up some food here. And I wanted to show you the proper way to adjust your PPM gauges. As you can see, mine's sitting on seven in the seven and four in the four. You want to hold it on your middle button so it pops up calibrate. Then you can select it up or down with these ones. And we're looking for a seven. Sorry, that's all shaggy, but I got a plastic over it. You can select down the four. Or select up. Uh, wait now, we gotta slow it down now. We left it too long. And as you can see, I think I hit the button. There's a four, there's a seven, and there's a ten. So we want around seven. And we're going to hit enter. It's going to calibrate. Now we know she's set for seven. Now I already know she's set for four. This is another meter, but I already had these set up. <coughs> well, you do the exact same thing. And then you'd rinse them off well. And a bit of water. And as you can see, my water is at 6.4, 6.3. It's one, it's going down, it's only water too. As you can see now, it's 6.1. That's really what I wanted for uh, cocoa. But, I'm gonna check it out here. In my mixture, I'm at 5.7. Because it's uh, a little thick of a mix, 5.8. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give two or three little drops of that. I'm going to give it a good stir. And that's going to coat it with a membrane. And that's going to hold with it a whole lot longer. If you, you can use vinegar. I have a bottle of vinegar just to show you. But vinegar is going to break down within a couple of days. And you're going to throw your pH out of whack real quick. And uh, it's not as good of an acid on your roots as uh, potassium hydroxide. But be warned, this stuff will leak you to the bones and if your pets gets at it or your kids gets at it, it could kill them. So don't go screwing around too much with it. It's 17% uh, potassium. So careful using it in flour as well. Now we're going to check our pan. Showing us here now at 5.9. To make sure, I'm going to give this a little rinse. And my temperatures in my bucket and my solutions are all the same. So this should go to 7. And if it does not go to 7, recalibrate and redo it all again. Because I can guarantee you, you're going to be in for a heap of trouble if you don't. Just for shits and giggles now, I'm going to haul him up out of the 4. Give my rinse and some water. Give my good dripping off. Lay him over here in the seven. See where he goes. You just calibrate the seven. So I know my pins. This is old meter that works. I like to have two meters on the go just because I have uh, a lot of plants at times, and I don't want to be out on a Sunday summer stuck with no way to calibrate nothing. And there we go, 4.0. So I know to calibrate it. So I know that what I'm, what I always do then is give them a little wash and water. And make sure you got these guys filled up with a bit of solution. Storage solution is like a 4.0. You stick them down, there's a little rubber on them there, you can see it. And you just let the water squirt out and put them away and keep them stored in it. Now let's check this again. Still sitting at a 5.8 here now, 5.9. So we're going to try and move it up a little more. So I'm wondering now, do the solutions I got here, are they scrubbing it on me? 
there's five or six more drops in there. This can go up real quick. See, look, look at the old stain that leaves, like a smoke on it. I'm gonna stir that right in there real good. Dun dun dun. And again, we're gonna check it. And we're at six, right where I want to be. Six. I'm gonna go a little higher though. Because that's not right where I want to be. I want to be at 6.1 to 6.3 with my cocoa. Because I know that my water is a little low, so she's only going to scrub down anyway. And all my soils are at around 6.1 to 6.3. So, now let's see what we got sitting here. We're at 6.2, everybody. And that's where I'm going to feed my duckies tonight. In case anyone was wondering, like I said, I'm going to rinse it. Oh, my fucking face. Pardon my French. I'm going to stick it in there. I'm just going to push that down let that come out. And then this is going to kill me when she sees it all in the video. I'm going to do the same with him. Take them up out of there. And again, guys, when you check your solutions, put it right back in there and make sure it comes back to seven. And that's something I didn't do with my other pen, but so I've been at it a while. And even I fooled it up. So here we are. We're sitting at 6.1, 6.2. Move it over this way. Now you get a little 6.2, yep. And give them a washing off. And you can drop them in either one, seven or four. Make sure he comes exactly back to it. If he's not exactly back to it, he's way off. It could be 7.1. It's not right. 6.9 is not right. There's something not right. Do it again. Check all your temperatures. Readjust. Recalibrate. And every time you use your pen, recalibrate. It doesn't cost a whole lot. You won't have to use it a whole lot when you get used to how many drips you're putting in. Your water's pretty much the same most of the year. And there you go. As you can see, that solution sits at around 4 or 4.1. And don't be alarmed, you house it out and that's all full of salt. Just rinse it off because that stuff dries out over time. Because you don't use it a lot. If you notice it dried out, put a little more in. Throw only 8 or 9 bucks a bottle. Great stuff if you really want to get accurate with it. I also use drops when I'm doing my big grows and I got like six buckets of water going. I'll test it with two meters, recalibrate twice, and check my drops. Because uh, sometimes I'm on a well and if it rains, it's just spike, spike, spike. PPMs are everywhere and the uh, pH is everywhere. Okay, we're up to eight minutes on the video now. I don't want to leave you too long to bore you. Let's see what we're sitting at here. EC 1.2. Or you can see 1200. And if I shift that over to parts per million. I believe this is parts per million at 500 to calibrate these ones at. TDS or PPM, same thing. And that's it. I'm at 604, my water's 48, so I'm at 550. You would say 560. That's where I'm going hitting my babies too tonight. And a little tiny weaker now on my baby one. Alright guys, I hope you catch on to some little trick there from calibrating your pH pins. And uh, checking your PPMs every time. Check it coming in, check it going out. Alright, from the Nothing Fancy Grow Room, good night and God bless.